hello there monochrome here welcome back to another video today's video is all about sync thing if you don't live under a rock sorry patrick then you most likely have heard of a thing called cloud syncing which is simply data that is kept in sync between multiple computers thanks to the fact that it is stored on a cloud server rather than your computer itself cloud syncing is great in theory uh, you now have access to a lot of files that you can files or folders consisting of files you can add more files to it you could remove the files that are there and you could also modify the files on that folder and all of that will show up in every other computer that you have connected i i would say that's pretty cool i use kind i, I kind of like that ability and i use some of that features as well but the major caveat of cloud syncing is that it's always bound to your internet connection you will always need to have internet to connect to the server and access the file and your data is not stored locally on your mobile or laptop or desktop or any of that and the data that you have stored on the server now is on a private server so they have access to your data and they could they could do anything they want with that data like they could scan the images and videos on your on your let's say google drive or google photos or something like that for potential air quotes tos violating content and they could also just data mine you and uh, after all of this potentially uh, privacy concerning kind of things that they do they also have ability to just kick you out you are pretty much bound to their company if you remove the subscription you lose all of that if you remove subscription of your cloud or whatever you still kind of can download all of that before you cancel the subscription but if they kick you out you don't have access to any of it so what should we do then instead of using cloud to sync files i would recommend you to use sync thing that's the whole video so what is sync thing sync thing just synchronizes files it's it doesn't need internet but it still needs some sort of network so if you're connected to your other devices via wi-fi or ethernet but you don't have internet it's still fine you just need to connect uh, some uh, via some sort of network and once you've done that you can basically synchronize uh, synchronize files between your devices i have here this is sm thing is my smartphone it's a samsung phone that's why it's sm vanilla is my system at the moment you know this is vanilla os no where is it about yeah i am on vanilla os right now instead of arch and my tiling window manager setup i will just move to vanilla os and gnome just to try it out it's quite nice immutability is a pain but it's quite nice anyway i digress on sync thing uh, this is the gtk application you could also use the command line program which has a web gui that's what you would most likely have uh, you could just open up a terminal and type in oh apt install wait oh wait i i forget that no my keyboard layout is called mac but my uh, the keyboard letters are on qwerty so kind of like disorienting <laughs> let me just use my two hands so like you could do apt install sync what the hell did i do apt install sync thing and that should install your sync thing application or if you use graphical kind of package managers you could just open up gnome software or it's equivalent like uh, kd discover i forgot the name i think it's discover and you could just search for sync thing s y n c there are multiple applications here i am using this this is also available but it doesn't have anything like a custom graphical interface like this instead it's just a tray and the web gui i prefer this one because you know kind of blends well with gnome even, even though it is white mode instead of dark mode like every other program i even have dark mode enabled here but i'm not sure 
anyway um once you installed it you can just open that thing up like you can open this up and it will do everything for you you can just add a folder like right wait it was like this right yeah you could add a shared folder and then you could add devices and it's pretty simple it's super simple i don't think i'll need to show you how to do that just click on add a device and just type in the device id or if you are connecting with phone and your laptop or something like that open up your phone uh, here there is a method where you can show a qr code see basically just scan this qr code on your phone and it, that's it inside sync thing android there is a feature which lets you you know do this once you have your devices connected this is my machine and this is my phone i have my macbook but i have not connected it here doesn't matter so you can just create folders like i have some memes on a folder and i am connecting that and sharing it with my phone as well some linux rice stuff because you know sometimes some people will keep asking you for your latest rice and then you'll have to like send it living with uh, linux people is kind of weird <laughs> then i have my keep us you know database as well so that i don't have to use bitwarden which uses a server and it's also an electron client and doesn't run well on this old last thing pad so i use this thing called secrets where is it ah it's here this guy uh it's a gtk application it's quite nice and all of this is basically it you can just create a folder give it a name place the folder like let's say i want to sync my backups you can click that and i'll call it backups for some reason well just copy this i don't want to use my keyboard for now and i could really click save and right click and edit you could just share it with any devices like i'm going to share it with my android phone i click save and give give it a second it will pop up on your other devices sync thing application it will ask hey some device is trying to add this folder you go through the steps there and once that is done it should show up to date after it, it sends all of all of that data once it's up to date it's kept it up uh, it's kept up to date and that's pretty much it uh, it's super simple i have all of my music but i don't have it synced with this machine right now because you know i don't listen to songs on a laptop i mostly just listen to songs on my phone itself and that's pretty much it it just keeps shit uh, connected so you can also use it like a kind of like a remote wireless send file send thingy that's what i have here it's just a folder called general if i want something on my phone i could just copy that or like move that file over to the down the, the general folder inside downloads and it will show up on my system as well this is what i've been using for a while on my tiling window manager setup because you know k kd connect wasn't working properly but now that i have gnome and gs connect works i more more or less don't need this but it's nice to have i also have all of my markdown kind of files you know uh synced between my phone so i can use obsidian i'm kind of trying out paper now but it doesn't have an equivalent android version which is kind of sad but i can open obsidian i could write a script and it will show up on the obsidian app on my phone as well that's kind of it and oh shit i'm already 12 minutes long that's pretty much it and i will see you guys in another video